Hey, fig fam. Coffee. Let's, uh, it's a cold day today. It's like 37 this morning. But let's take a look in the greenhouse. And let's take a look in the greenhouse. I'll show you how everything's going in there. And then I want you to, to see what I'm doing with my quote unquote fig orchard. It is also doubles as a bocce court because it's the Italian in me. But uh, we'll take a look at that too. Cause I put in some trees in the ground and I moved the bench and it looks legit. I'm pretty stoked. And uh, I did another thing. I removed the um, weed blocking layer underneath to allow the shallow roots to spread and absorb more nutrients since fig trees like to have their roots spread on the first foot of soil and spread wide. And so I'm really trying to allow them to soak up as many nutrients as they can. And when I spread fertilizers or what I actually did was spread a um, garden lime, which is dolomitic limestone, which will give them calcium and magnesium. It'll allow all of that to soak into the soil and be absorbed by the trees as efficiently as possible. Um, and then this spring when it warms up, I'm going to apply compost to the whole top of the lot and then recover with hardwood bark. I applied um, pine bark nuggets to it. There is uh, evidence that when you use pine bark, it can lower the pH of the soil. And here in coastal North Carolina, we already have a slightly lower uh, pH soil where figs like a more neutral soil uh, around that seven marker, which is in the middle, right? The dolomitic limestone will complement that and raise the pH levels in the soil. So I added a hardy amount of it. And it really, I mean, it's just limestone, it's just rock. But limestone is water soluble, which is why it can be uh, taken by the water and absorbed by the trees efficiently. Uh, for those micronutrients and for the higher pH to help it grow in a comfortable environment. So I'll flip this around and we can uh, take a look at it and go from there. I'll show you my two new varieties too that I put in the ground. All right, whoop, boom. All right, so I call it a bocce court. I like having grass here. You, I can always, I always think about, you know, putting in six by sixes and countersinking it. There's my coffee. It is good, especially when it's 37 out. So you can see down here, I took that granulated, it says lawn uh, lime, but it's just granulated uh, dolomitic limestone. And I just kept, I dished out probably about a 40 pound bag across the entire orchard. And I put in two new trees in the ground. I moved one, I put this in the ground. This is Negra de Agde. It gets raved about. Um, it did not fruit for me last year because it was a new baby plant that I got from One Green World. And I was deciding between this and LSU Scott's Black, but I went with this just because of evidence of how tasty the fig is, uh, even though there's similar varieties, but not quite. This has a nice, flavor profile and I'm in the southeast so we want rain resistance so the both of those hold true so I went with Negra de Agde and I lined it up with my hardy Chicago right there and boom right here and then my Italian honey that I moved from that back corner that wasn't doing well and the bench used to be here and I put it down here and chopped it to the ground to give it a growing year like I did with my salche and my cold de dom grease Everything's taped up. And the goal is to look like my finger bread up. And or my Violet de Soleil. Right? Did the same thing. We had a growing year with my Smith and my Paradiso. And I literally pruned them back to just a stick. The goal is to get the nodes get my three main scaffolding branches right so that's the goal or four you know 
sometimes it looks nice like this. As I, you can see, I've done with my Col de Don Blanc and my Col de Don Moir, my Genovese Nero AF, my white Genoa. So yeah, I put the bench back here, come back here with my coffee, there's my Stella, my Peter's honey, and I come back here and I can have some coffee. Dang. But let's take a look in the greenhouse. So if it's 37 out here, I'm curious what the temperature is inside. We got some up potted three gallon plants. So soon I'll be having too much space or too much, too many plants for this space. So I'm gonna move them over here and put black nursery covering down here. And this will kind of be like my um, selling space for my three, five and seven gallon pots. So that's the game plan. But that is, and I might even put like a shade tunnel out there or a high tunnel of sorts. But let's take a look. So that's 56 degrees. This is just cruising away. And then I have the heat map for the sensitive ones, but they seem to be waking up still. I have some sad news. This cold it on noir leafed out before it put out any roots and it doesn't look too hot. But so is life, c'est la vie, with sometimes rooting fig cutting. So, otherwise, I have another batch of Celestes. These four are all waking up. And by the Celestes are waking up. And these Negrones that I got on fig bit is a large collection. I forget who I got it from. They're waking up too. But yeah, I figured I'd show you the greenhouse. 37, 56 in here and uh room for more one gallons but these three gallons are they're growing fast i will say the ones that grow well that get this nice deep growth like this yellow long neck here um or over here you can see this ponte tresa a little bit of fmv but you can see once it puts it out it gets nice and dark and healthy that i use an organic liquid fertilizer to help stimulate their growth and it's a very well balanced one's mother earth it's it's about 50 bucks for this big jug but basically just do the lower piece here the lower amount or just to get enough of this covered and then i fill it all the way up with five gallons of water and then i just distribute it to anything that has a solid root base but they love it because once i started applying to this they really started taking off so hence why they're in three gallon pots so the success on the cutting project and success on the outdoor uh, fig orchard. But uh, cheers, guys. I really appreciate you guys following with me. Um, I'm very excited for this spring chapter as we get warmer days ahead and to see how quickly these trees grow. Cause once they, once they root, they're a little slow to start now, but once they root, they will take off. And I'm starting to notice that now three gallons and uh, we'll see where this takes us. But uh, thanks for joining me on this journey. And uh, I think next episode, I wanna talk about my composition of my soil that I'm building and working with. And I'm in, in a trial state right now, finding what works best with ratios of peat moss and vermiculite and perlite and compost once they're potted. So stay tuned guys and uh, go ahead and subscribe and like, but uh, I'll see you out there. Holler if you have any questions, comment section, boop.